ever get that feeling, you know? Yeah. Like you're waiting for a text back and suddenly every minute feels like an hour. Oh, tell me about it. Today we're really diving deep into that, into whether we're a priority to the people we care about or just an option. And this isn't just about dating, right? This applies to friendships, family, even work connections. It's something we've all probably wondered about at some point. Absolutely. And to help us unpack it all, we're looking at this blog post by King Karayuki. Are you an option or a priority in someone's free time? Oh, yeah. He really gets into it, doesn't he? Those little clues that tell you a lot about where you stand with someone. I know. If, like, right off the bat, he asks us to think about the last time we reached out to someone. Did they get back to us right away or... Or were you left hanging? Exactly. It's that waiting game that can be so revealing. It really is. And that's where Karayuki highlights this difference. Are you someone's option? Someone they only respond to when it's convenient? Or are you a priority, someone they make time for, even if it means rearranging things? Totally. It's like that awful feeling of being on red. You know they've seen your message. But then it's radio silence. The worst. Yeah. And what's interesting is that Karaoke says even a quick response isn't always a sign of being a priority. No, not at all. Think about it. Someone might reply immediately, but you can tell they're not really present, you know? Like they're just multitasking, scrolling through their phone, or maybe you're filling a void in their day. So it's not about the speed of the reply, but more about the intention behind it. Exactly. So how do we figure out where we stand with someone? How can you tell if you're actually a priority or just a convenient option? You know, that's where things get really interesting. Karayuki suggests we take a look in the mirror for this one. He asks us to think about our own motivations when we're the ones reaching out. Are we really looking for a genuine connection, or are we trying to fill a void in our own day? It's like we're so focused on how other people are treating us that we forget to check in with ourselves. It happens, and it doesn't always have to be these big, grand gestures or elaborate plans either. What do you mean? Sometimes it's the small, consistent things that really make a difference. You know, like remembering someone's birthday without Facebook reminding you, or offering to help them with a project even when you're totally swamped. Or just asking how are you and really meaning it, not just waiting for your turn to talk. Exactly. It's about showing up, being present, even when it's not the easiest or most convenient thing. And I imagine it can be hard to know when we're being treated as just an option, especially if we care about the person. Absolutely. It's natural to want to make excuses for people like, oh, they're just busy or they have a lot going on right now. We've all been there. But how do we tell the difference between a genuine lack of time and someone who's just not making us a priority? That's where paying attention to the patterns is really important. Is this a one-time thing or does it feel like a recurring theme? Are they always bailing on plans last minute, forgetting important dates, or giving you these half-hearted responses? Those are pretty clear signs. Yeah. It's like they say, actions speak louder than words. Exactly. Of course, life happens. People get overwhelmed. It doesn't mean they don't care. Hmm. But if you're constantly feeling like you're at the bottom of their to-do list, it might be time to step back and look at the bigger picture. To remember how much we're actually worth. Yes. And to make sure we're surrounding ourselves with people who see that worth, who value us as much as we value them. And that doesn't mean keeping score or expecting constant attention. No, not at all. It's about building those healthy, balanced relationships where everyone feels seen, heard, and appreciated. So we've talked about recognizing the signs, but how do we actually use this whole option versus priority thing mm -hmm. to build better relationships? Like, what do we actually do? Well, one thing that really stuck with me from Karaoke's post is this idea that we teach people how to treat us. Oh, interesting. What do you mean by that? It's like by setting healthy boundaries, being upfront about our needs, that's how we create the space for those deeper, more meaningful connections to grow. Because otherwise we end up just people pleasing or accepting whatever we can get. Exactly. And that never ends well, does it? No, not really. It's about having enough self-respect to walk away from situations where our worth isn't being recognized, you know? Absolutely. And, you know, Karayuki ends his post with this line, life is too short to be just an option. It's like a little reminder that our time and energy are valuable. You really are. We only get so much of them, right? That's exactly. And that got me thinking, you know? It's not just about romantic relationships or friendships. This whole option versus priority idea, it applies to so much more. How so? Well, think about your goals, your dreams, even how you spend your free time. Are you treating those things as priorities, the things that really matter to you? Or are we just telling ourselves, oh, I'll get to that someday. 
because someday can easily turn into never, you know? If we want to create a life we're really excited about, we have to put those things front and center, make them non-negotiable. Wow, that's a really good point. I'm definitely guilty of putting things off sometimes. This deep dive has given me a lot to think about, that's for sure, especially about being more mindful in my relationships. And remember, it's a two-way street. Absolutely. It's about constantly checking in with yourself, making sure your needs are being met. And if they're not, well, maybe it's time to make some changes. This has been such an eye-opening conversation. So to all our listeners out there, here's something to consider. What if you took this whole option versus priority thing and applied it to every single part of your life? How would things change if you really prioritized your own well-being, your passions, the people who bring you joy? It's definitely something to think about. Until next time, keep exploring, keep connecting, and keep diving deep.